Bringing a child into a family through adoption is an act of immense love and courage. It's a beautiful journey filled with hope and joy. However, this path can present unique challenges. Adopted children often carry the weight of past trauma and loss. These experiences impact their emotional and social development. Understanding early adversity is crucial for adoptive parents. The connected child offers insights and strategies to help families. It serves as a guide for building strong, loving connections. The Connected Child by Dr. Karen Purvis, Dr. David Cross and Wendy Sunshine is not just a book, it's a lifeline for families touched by adoption. It introduces trust-based relational intervention, or TBRI, an evidence-based approach to parenting children impacted by trauma. This model emphasizes the importance of connection, empowerment, and understanding the neurological effects of early adversity. The authors, drawing upon years of experience working with adopted and foster children, offer practical tools and strategies that parents can implement in their daily lives. The book delves into the science behind trauma, explaining how it affects a child's brain development, emotional regulation, and attachment style. It provides clear and concise explanations of complex concepts, making it accessible to parents from all walks of life. With real-life examples, relatable anecdotes, and actionable advice, the connected child empowers parents to create a home environment where their children feel safe, loved, and understood. Imagine a child carrying an invisible suitcase. This suitcase represents their past experiences filled with memories of loss, neglect, or abuse. It's important to remember that these experiences, though unseen, have a profound impact on a child's behavior, emotions, and overall well-being. Children who have experienced trauma may struggle with emotional regulation, exhibiting outbursts of anger, anxiety, or fear. They may have difficulty forming secure attachments pushing away those who try to get close. Thus, behaviors, though challenging, are not intentional acts of defiance, but rather coping mechanisms developed in response to early adversity. The connected child helps parents understand the language of these behaviors, recognizing them as cries for help and connection. It provides strategies for responding to these behaviors with empathy and understanding, creating a space where children feel safe to express their emotions without fear of judgment or rejection. Section 4 Creating a Sanctuary Building a Safe and Secure Home For a child who has experienced trauma, the feeling of safety is paramount. It's about creating a haven where they can let down their guard, knowing they are loved and protected. This sense of security forms the foundation for trust and healing. Consistency and predictability provide stability, helping children feel secure. Physical touch, like hugs, releases oxytocin, promoting calmness and connection. Fostering open communication helps children express their thoughts and feelings without fear. Section 5. Nurturing Trust, the Cornerstone of Connection. Trust is the bedrock of any healthy relationship, particularly for children who have experienced broken promises and inconsistent care. Building trust takes time, patience, and unwavering commitment. It's about showing up consistently, keeping promises, and being a source of unwavering support. The Connected Child provides practical tips for nurturing trust, such as engaging in child-led play, actively listening without interrupting, and following through on commitments. It encourages parents to be attuned to their child's cues, recognizing their nonverbal communication, and responding with sensitivity. Building trust also involves repairing ruptures when they occur. Mistakes are inevitable, but it's how we handle them that matters most. The book emphasizes the importance of sincere apologies, acknowledging our missteps, and taking responsibility for our actions. These acts of repair, though seemingly small, speak volumes to a child who has learned to expect inconsistency and disappointment. Section 6. Empowering Children Fostering Resilience and Growth while it's essential to acknowledge the impact of trauma, it's equally important to focus on a child's strengths and resilience. Every child possesses unique talents and a capacity for growth. The connected child encourages parents to celebrate their child's inherent worth and potential. It provides strategies for empowering children by providing choices, encouraging independence, and celebrating accomplishments. 
emphasizing positive reinforcement and focusing on strengths. The book offers tools for teaching emotional regulation, conflict resolution, and self-advocacy.